Hello guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, the plan for today is to take our Fleet Star again and uh, check out this upgrade here as well as uh, check out this uh, International Trans Star. I'm not sure if this is a pickup or an upgrade or whatever, but we will check it out. And after that, I don't know, maybe we'll continue our journey using the Fleet Star as an explorer and check out the island lake over here. But for the moment, let's head out to this upgrade and see how bad this marshy area is. I mean, technically, we should probably bring the Pay Star here, the dedicated off-road truck. But we've been having so much fun with the Fleet Star lately. I mean, it's, it's just a shame to leave it in. Plus, I actually want to see how... Ooh, wow, this is steep. Uh, I actually want to see how efficient this is in uh, true off-road. Just because I'm thinking of using it a lot more, especially for, well, for any kind of cargo hauling. So, um... I want to get the better feel for it, just because at this point I think it's fully upgraded for anything we might want to do with it. Yeesh, ow, ow, ouchy, ouch. Okay, all good. Uh, we're not gonna worry about fuel, to be honest, just because uh, we're not gonna go very far. <laughs> Well, I say we're not going to go very far, but somehow we end up on, it, on, it, on the other side of the map. And not even this map. Another map. Like we've done in the last uh, episode or two. In any case, let's be careful here. We don't want to tip over. I mean, just look at this. Do you see this little issue here this is a truck destroyer this can totally flip you over if you're not careful and just come here full barreling down i mean smithsville dam is such a hard map compared to well again the drum uh, drummond drummond island that we did earlier in the last episode I mean, this has tilted ground, and it, this is hard. I mean, this is difficult. It requires a lot from your piloting uh, as an off-road driver. Okay, so is this terrain usable right now, or is this terrain uh, pretty bad? Let's try and stick to the areas where we actually have uh, tree cover, so we can uh, use it as anchor points if we need to. So far so good, pretty solid, not a huge issue. And there we go. But uh, actually this is not too bad, this is actually not too bad. Okay, so we got the raised suspension kit for what trucks? Oh, just for the Scout 800. Okay, cool. I think we pretty much have enough to kit out a full Scout 800 by this point. Maybe we'll do that. And let's check out this Trans Star here. Uh, how, what's the best way to approach this? Okay, let's try it like this. Again, we shouldn't really trust the map. The map is really just a park. But... We don't really have any other good options anyway. Ooh, good solid uh, power poles. I like these. Hmm. Odd. I actually thought this uh, area might have, might have been a lot worse than it is, but it's pretty fine. side here so we have trees in case we need them whoa rank 10 yar 87 is available for purchase international something something discovered okay so we discovered this truck is this our truck now 
Change truck? Oh yeah, we got the new truck. Hey. Okay, A plus. Uh, so it's an A plus part weight ratio, durability, high durability. Well, not a lot of durability. Oh, actually, this is with the components destroyed, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. And max fuel consumption. Okay, got it. Either way, let's uh, recover this. We are not gonna bother putting this out of the muck all the way back to the garage. Okay, and what kind of truck is this? Uh, highway truck. Oh, so it's a highway truck. I can't say I care much for highway trucks to be fully, inter uh, fully international, <laughs> to be fully honest. Let's uh, let's just have a look at it. Uh, okay, it uses the standard SVT engines. Okay, so that's not a very horribly strong engine. We can't even mount the race suspension. Ish. The nine wheel or nine inch wheels are all it can take on. Hmm. Okay. Uh, anything cool it can use? Don't think so. And a tall fall flat cap. Not that they will ever take this out off roading. Okay. Um. I don't care for it. Let's just uh, retain it, sell it, and we'll get it back if we ever need a, a tra highway truck. Sell. Yes. Okay. Uh, that being said, let's return back to our uh, Fleet Star. Let's turn off the engine while we look around. Hmm. There's nothing else that I see here that's interesting for us to look at. Usually, there, if there are like uh, other upgrades, they're you know still marked by a car or something. It's not invisible. So uh, okay, let's uh, let's head out to Island Lake. Hopefully we'll have a better luck getting to a garage uh, this time. But uh, let's be careful with what we're doing here. We want to stick next to trees to ourselves if that's a thing we need to do. And let's try... Oh, actually, this isn't all that bad. Apparently this is quite a bit raised so yeah let's just uh, barrel through it's not worth much about it my interior area looks really sketchy and really hard but it's not that bad feel the power of the fully operational fleet star and exactly as I say that, I get bogged down in mud. Okay, actually, yeah, I got bogged down because uh, it was uh, stupidly going 5 out of 5 auto on uh, on mud. Okay, let's just head through, try to stick to the left side here. Okay, come on. 1 out of 5, please. I think it's if I would have uh, a better gearbox, I'd only use this for the low plus range. But otherwise, I just have to use the auto first uh, first gear to get through this. Right, I was expecting more terrain like this, you know, just very thick mud in that swamp. But apparently not. Wow. Uh, 
Uh, we should probably check out what we unlocked, that R-47. Although I'm pretty sure that's a Russia-only map uh, car. Um, even about those limits, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that locks you from buying it in a certain map, right? But it doesn't stop you from uh, transferring it. So you can buy it in Russia and transfer it here, I think. I think. If so, that's a pretty bad design choice. Again, doesn't really matter right now. I'll just do a bit of uh, research. Okay. Island Lake, Michigan, USA. Cool. Do we see the garage anywhere? Wow, this is a huge map. Damn. This is really, really huge. Or, I don't know, maybe it just seems huge, but wow. Let's pick up all the tasks that we can. Okay, fix a bridge. a pretty flat area, no real huge surprises, just uh, quite muddy in places, I guess. And that's a trader store there, isn't it? Yep, that is indeed a trader store, so let's uh, s skip by there. I wonder if I can just uh, ramble it across. I can, but it's highly not recommended, I guess. Wow. Yeah, okay, the muddy terrain in here is actually a muddy terrain. It's not something to be trifled with. Very quickly goes to a good terrain. Well, not really good, but acceptable terrain. Okay, let's do a trailer store. Let's do a quick maintenance trailer. Repair F. Refuel F. C. Sell. And oh, there's some trailers here. trailer great awesome you know what we call this this we call free money oh uh, oh I, I can't because I'm not scout cool uh, yeah and I can't sell it remotely anyway okay no worries let's head here and see what that is maybe that's my garage hopefully It's so weird to see almost the entire map, you know, from one end to one end, but just have it be inaccessible. Come on, I just need to inch 
myself over there. Press the legacy, okay, cool. Bouncy. Okay, so what's this? That is en wow, engine damage and serious. Suspension damage. That's a huge trailer with metal beams and concrete slabs. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get there. So we get the XP from uh, seeing it. I can even take it out of here if I really want to, I think. Hmm. Right, and that's the bridge, right? That these guys want uh, repaired. And that's two wooden planks. Okay, we're not gonna bother with that. But, uh, because we took so much ridiculous damage by just something, we're gonna head back and do that little trick again. We're gonna be having to go around anyway. Just smack right on through. Trader store. Let's be fuel F V repair F escape C sell. There we go. Uh, what's Rusty Legacy? Hey there, I'm Ted. I want to repair a place in town, so random story here. What if mine found an abandoned truck? Since I ain't got the time or resources to get it myself, I figured it might help. What do you say, pal? Oh, okay, so we need to return a Chevrolet CK1500 to the dude's house. And what's this? Is this like another... Oh, eventually I guess they changed the design. So you can accept this from two different locations, maybe? Or did I already accept it? No, I didn't accept it because... Hmm, doesn't matter. Uh, let's just head over there, get that. And then head over here. Turning off the all wheel drive again, if you don't need it for fuel saving purposes. And actually, let's stick to the main route. This map seems to be really unforgiving if you wanna just uh, free range explore. I mean, uh, that's why I mentioned that it's possible that you could have accepted it there, 
Just so you knew where to bring the, the truck. either way but let's let's stick to actually yeah that's an empty spot there for trees so we should probably stick to this side place again. That looks like a huge facility. Yeah, I think the, the bridge, the in construction bridge is what what's making this go uh, way out of whack. We are advancing, probably not the best advancing we could do, but we are advancing. And as long as we're going to be getting closer to... The other side, it's all good. switch myself on to random dead trees which is turning out to be working pretty well supposed to be like a, a logging station? Well, I guess it's not active yet. It made it uh, really easy for me to get the logs here to unlock this bridge. Either, let's head over to that watchtower. Actually, it would not have made it any easier because I only have a semi uh, trailer capable truck, and there were no actual semi trailers. I had to actually go back at the semi trailer, drag it across the mug. The, sorry, the bog over there. And only then can I actually. Could have I actually pick up, picked up the wood to deliver. So, is this a straight shot? Yeah, it seems to be like a straight shot up. Yeah, definitely, this isn't the place to use uh, all-terrain tires. Or especially not highway tires, no way, no how. I was barely advancing to that mud and this is a uh, fully, almost fully upgraded uh, fleet star. A 
Okay, tough negotiations discovered. New objective, sure. That's it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Well, there's another fuel carrier semi trailer here, which is cool. And there's bridge the gap here. Okay, let's uh, let's head down. Get the XP from from uncovering that. Head back down here and get the tough negotiations. Oh, actually, I could have got them bridge the gap there, but doesn't really matter. It's just delivered wooden planks and I guess tough negotiations deliver more wooden planks wow I'm gonna need to get like a, a trailer semi trailer full of wooden planks in here and get this all solved in one go although I'm not sure we have any wooden planks in uh... hmm. I, I have to check what's the closest wooden planks that we have I don't think it's only at the warehouse, I think, at, uh, at the corner near Dumond Island entrance in uh, Smithville Dam that provides with on planks, which is pretty far, not terribly far, but pretty far from uh, where um, we would want them to be. And then there's all the way back in the Black River, but uh, that really seems far, especially if we're going to be using that, uh, that uh, side path in uh, Smithson, which is pretty horrible. So yeah, definitely not. I guess the way to do it is to actually advance, grit your teeth and advance the actual logging station here. Okay, that's unlocked. Let's also refuel while you're here. That it really, really matters. So yeah, I think uh, the point here is to actually get to this logging station, wherever the hell it was, like here or something. And uh, then come back and free all of these areas, bridge all those areas. Hunter, Hunter Bridge, right? Okay, which we already accepted, yes. company made a town an attractive offer, the basis of which has absolutely nothing to do with the drilling for oil on public land. All they're asking for is a bridge for their supplies and total silence. You in? Ugh. That sounds uh, shady. I'm in. So, uh, let's cross this. Not sure exactly what's the path. Probably, I uh, actually know it. Probably it's marcher. Yeah, let's do this. It's probably a smarter option. To just uh, come through here, here, and use this path to get to the watchtower. And for reals, if you would have told me, I would have uh, went on to explore the adjacent uh, zones with the Fleet Star and not the Chevrolet. My actual dedicated scout truck, I would have just went like, Psh, yeah, sure. But uh, I'll be fair, the extra fuel has served me really well. Getting stuck on like, I don't know, 100 liters of fuel might have been just a bit uh, tough with the Chevrolet. My 
a Recon CK-1500, I mean. Sometimes I forget that not everyone uh, may have started this series right at the beginning, and I'm trying to be entertaining and inclusive for uh, even newcomers. But do you know what this uh, area reminds me of? Weirdly enough, this like large empty area filled with whatever possible surprises and a lot of dead space which you can totally see but can't really you know interact with at all. It reminds me of uh, the nomad space. I think it was like Alaska sector. Amusing enough, yeah, it was the Alaska sector in uh, Freelancer. Talk about the blast from the past. And amusingly enough, that it's actually named uh, Alaska. But still, man, this uh, Freestar has been doing a great job going through all this murky, inky, blacky mud. I'm really surprised. Okay, no control truck <laughs> discovered. And an upgrade location, and I guess no warehouse location, right? No, sorry, no uh, oh, abandoned drilling site. Cool, but not what I care about. Okay, let's head over, grab this upgrade, because it's exactly in our route. And then let's uh, see if we can head upwards. We are reaching the 30 minute mark on this, so uh, we're going to be trying to wrap this up to at the very least a sensible conclusion, if nothing else, soon enough. Whoa, Whoa. What, what's happening here? Oh, this is some terrible mud. Is there a better way? Yeah, I think, I think this is the recommended option. You take one step to the left here, and literally you are dead. You're like neck deep in mud if you just take one step off of the main route. again with a more slightly more official area okay there we go this is solid ground oh actually two solid ground Head 6v50. So 6 valves, 5.0 liter engine, heavily tuned, custom fit engine by popular vehicle workshop, respectable power with somewhat unhealthy appetite for gas. And this is for the Scout 800. Oh, oh right, this is the slightly undertuned engine for the Chevrolet. We're running the 5.2 right now. And this was the one I was considering for, you know, maybe better gas mileage because I don't think we really need all of that power for the Chevrolet. So yeah, I might uh, switch this one in. So that's a great upgrade to have. Let's uh, check out this No Country for All truck before we uh, shut up for the evening. Ooh, ooh, nope, nope, wrong way. Let's just head straight out, exactly the road we came in on. And you know, it's 
great that uh, I have an N key rollover keyboard. So basically, I can push uh, S, T, and F at the same time and have it all still register. Because I need all of those inputs to go through. Huge truck. Man, it's a crying shame the way some people treat this stuff. This truck must have been a cowboy Cadillac back in the day, now it's a total heap. If you can get it out of here, maybe I can get it running again. Ooh, so we can get the uh, Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. Okay. Uh. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. It's uh, It comes with an embedded bed. I mean, it's not modular at all. It's just one straight truck, which is pretty horrible, I guess, for what we're, what we're doing here. But I don't know how, much, how many slots it has. And if it has a trailer ability, I don't think we can totally trailer hitch something onto this, right? No, I don't think so. I'm not seeing a trailer hitch on it. Okay, anyways, so what's this? Can I change truck to it? No, I can't. Can I refuel it? Uh, okay, let's refuel it a bit. Okay, do I have to repair it? No, we don't have to repair it. Do I have to fill it to the max with fuel? That's my question. Yeah, I think so. So let's get that fuel back. Restore. Yeah, I think this just needs to be... No, it also needs to be repaired. Yeah, right. Cool. And it has a four slot capacity. Uh, I guess. Four slot on the same bed. Uh, sure. Uh, either way, I guess this is a, a as good stopping point as any other. So... Uh, Again, if you guys liked uh, this video, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you like the type of content I make, any words of encouragement in the comment section would be great. I read them all. Uh, in any case, this was Cosmo. This was uh, my SnowRunner playthrough. And I'll see you guys in the next one.